to 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 the moon. Jiggy 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 to the moon. I'm so impressed with your musical talent. I can't use the beat, so I gotta do it. To to to. What up, though, Heist Man the Fool? Talk that talk, ghetto reviews. We reviewing RuPaul Drag Race, episode season twelve, episode nine. It's called what? Oh, I know what it's called. Choices 2020. Choices 2020. I'm motherfucking, I mean, (laughs) I'm Heist Man Defoe. You're motherfucking. Yeah, motherfucking Heist Man Defoe. And I'm right here with my co-host, Charlene Defoe. What's up, baby? Nothing. Just got, you know, I'm pretty excited. I got to watch pretty much two episodes of RuPaul. Right, because they also had what? Celebrity RuPaul. Celebrity RuPaul, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Celebrity Drag Race, yeah, that's it was pretty decent too. Did a good job. Did really try. Art was in it. Oh yeah, that was a lot of fun with that. It was in. It. Let's get right into this shit. Turn the light on. All right. So, what do you take from this show today? Um. Who? All right. You know, I, you know, they're making a lot of commentary and and calling attention, which I'm glad of to get more people out to vote. Mm-hmm. You know. I know it's pretty hard to take... Uh, what's funnier than what's really going on in politics right now? You know, we have to literally tell people not not, not to drink Lysol. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. I kind of feel like they had a they were handed kind of a hard thing to do, which would make politics funny. I think that's why maybe Gigi was a little intimidated by it, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Gigi. She loves Gigi. But she just was, you know, she didn't shine this week because it nah. it just wasn't her thing. And I feel you, Gigi. Who you thought was going home this week when you first... When oh, you first I thought came. Widow was going home last week, so I, know, I naturally thought she was going to go home this week. Yeah, just, I thought... Just by what... On the, the merits of talent. I'm not saying she doesn't have talent, just by, you know, like, who I think has the most and right. the most ability to stay. Spoiler alert. Yeah. To y'all that right now. Um, What, what was that thing you... You sent me the picture of that bird. Oh. <laughs> what, what was the name? When Jada was, when J- Jada oh, was in the workroom getting ready and she had her uh, her, her wig cap on, mm-hmm. she looked just like that bird from uh, Bugs Bunny, the vulture. Yes. Because <laughs> you can see her little Adam's apple. Oh, let me put this picture on. And her nose. She's got a beautiful big nose. Oh, you can see the Adam apple and everything. Lord. But Jada, you so look crazy out here. It just popped in my head that she looked like the vulture. Right. If anybody knows the vulture's name from Bugs Money, please feel free to put it in the chat. But that shit just, I just had to stop right then and look that picture of that vulture up. That shit was funny, man. She did look like that, though. But she is gorgeous. Who has some good looks today? My favorite look this week, well, of course Gigi gonna come out looking in fucking impeccable. Right, and her Gigi. Tuck was so clean that oh. my baby Jeff Goldblum couldn't keep his eyes off of it. What Jeff Goldblum? I got a picture of Jeff. Look, Jeff. Jeff was intrigued by this episode. I Every time it. RuPaul talked, he was sitting there looking at her talk. He he he's so eloquent. He was into this shit. You, you guys don't know. I've been in love with Jeff Goldblum since I was a little little girl. Like the first time I ever like, laid eyes on this weird awkward. Like the fly. I just love Jeff Goldblum. He's so I think. To, he must be like bi or something because he's too perfect to be a straight man. He is just perfect to me. I love Jeff Goldblum. That's what's up. Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Did his thing though. Who was on some of your best looks of the week? Again, Gigi, impeccable. Uh, I, I really liked Jackie Cox look this week. Jackie Cox. Yeah, I liked her. her um, Are you talking about the, um, the burka? Not the, the, her that represents being Muslim right. in America. I just think it's so important. When, when I was growing up, we were also proud to be a melting pot. You know, that's what the America touted, like, we're the melting pot of the world. Right. And nowadays, there's so much division mm-hmm. between people. And I think it's beautiful to see her be able to represent her, her uh, Muslim faith and right. in an American and still be patriotic. But I do like, uh, back to my, my future husband, Jeff, when Heist Man over here falls off. Um, you gotta be quick. You gotta die quick, though, because Jeff's getting old. Jeff's getting old. 
Um, I love that he brought up the point about that her faith doesn't necessarily love her, you know? Right. Um, and I hope that things get better, you know, even in, in, in Christianity and, you know, the Muslim faith, but the Muslim faith, they still believe in killing people over it, you know? Mm, and what about Shade of the Week? Who threw the most shade? We didn't get to watch the entire Untuck because it didn't re- didn't record for some reason. But I did see snippets of it. Um, the shade of the week I got to hear was during Untuck, Jada said to Heidi, in re- a reference to something Gigi said to Heidi. Right. She said your makeup looks better. She didn't say you were pretty. Mm. Jada. <laughs> I know she's being funny, but still. She Jada crazy. crazy. You like the Jada um look too, didn't you? Oh yeah. With the stars, I ain't like the horns on the side. I like of... everything but those shoulder pads. Yeah, this. Is... I mean, I know she was, she designs her stuff herself, you know, but I, I don't know. I didn't necessarily like it, mm-hmm. but the judges obviously did, so she won, and that's what that matters. And it was, good. I was glad to see her get a win too. Hmm. I was, I was, I was glad to see her get a win. But other than those things on her shoulders, she did, she, she did get the win today. You're right. And she was pretty funny um, during the political stuff, too. What about Heidi? Heidi? You know I love mm-hmm. Heidi. <laughs> Heidi looks super cute today. She got that money. She, she did get that money, boy. And I was really feeling how she felt when she got it, too. So I got money now, honey. <laughs> <laughs> That's your Heidi impression? That, yeah. I, I got it. money now, honey. That's how I felt when them stimulus checks dropped. My damn bank account was looking terrible. Yeah. So Widow had... What about Widow? Oh, Widow had Wig of the Week, y'all. Wig of the Week goes, too. Listen, Widow, that, that proportion of that afro to your face made your face look so slim and pretty. Oh, you talking about the, um, this one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I really think Widow had the Wig of the Week. It was nice. And it was. It just fit her so well. Oops, I think I put the wrong buttons. The, I, think, I really do think the proportions even her face out. It was a good look for her because she's pulled out some ugly ass wigs like the the week with the the flag pants. Mm-hmm. That wig, oh lord, the Michelle Visage week. That's what it was. Right. Um, the, I hated that wig. I fucking hated it. It looked like something she pulled out of damn Party City. Yeah. This shit was terrible. But you, this week, that afro was beautiful. I didn't really like this look. You didn't like her look this week, the the Black Panther look. Mm mm. Uh, but she, you get you gave a wig of the week though, but I love I loved her look. It was my I don't know, I, like the stars and stripes shit. with everybody else is doing it, everybody had red, white, and blue. She had on black stripes and. I'm, but what's the difference between her doing that and what Jackie Fox did? She was representing how you can be American and still be proud to be black or be proud to be Muslim. Yeah, but it was red, white, and blue. You're such a stickler. Right. It's all right. But when it came down to it, still patriotic. When it came down to it, it was who? Jackie Cox versus Widow. Yep. When it's time for them to go home. Yeah, I I really I really enjoyed Jackie Cox lip sync today. How'd you feel about it? Jackie Cox, she did her thing. She looked like she was performing a song, actually. Yeah, I couldn't keep my eyes off of her. I, I always try to be fair when I watch the lip syncs, even if there's one person I prefer over the other one, and. So I, I look back and forth between the two of them, but there was a light on Jackie. Like she really was, was there was something like about her performance I could not keep my eyes off. Her. I just wanted to see what she was gonna do next. So it was mm-hmm. kind of hard to watch Widow because I knew what she was gonna do pretty much, you know. But but it's crazy because Widow can pull out some crazy moves. Do you remember the first uh, couple episodes? Uh huh. Widow can do some crazy weird contortionist shit. So. Mm-hmm. She didn't pull out any of her tricks. Mm-mm-mm. When all boils down to it, who went home today? Bye, Widow. I knew you were going home. Widow was going home. I knew. Good I, job, though. And I think, um, what's the name? Crystal Method next. Mm, I don't think so. Don't they know. love Crystal Method. Rue. Yeah. No Crystal Method. Oh. And Crystal Method, you know what? She's interesting. She's all right. She's interesting. What about, she, um. She makes you want to see what she's gonna do do you have a silky fact of the week i forgot the silky fact of the week there will how be how could no. you let me forget <laughs> a silky ganache fact of the week we don't have the silky fact of the week no i'm fine 
in a silky ganache fact. We, we're going to know. We don't need no silky facts. We always need a silky fact. We don't need no silky facts. I'm starting to enjoying to myself. To help combat gerrymandering, she registered as a Republican. Who, Silky? My, eh, found my Silky fact of the week. Oh, we'll see. Say that again. To help combat gerrymandering, mm -hmm. she's re a registered Republican. Oh, so Silky is a Republican. Ha, Silky fact of the week, bitch. Well, I wasn't going to have it, didn't you? I thought you was not going to have a hey, silky fact. let me forget the silky fact. Hey, that's your part of the episode. You got to come up with a silky fact. I forgot. I drank too much earlier. Yeah, we were getting drunk. Svetka, <laughs> Svetka orange cream pop vodka. It's sponsored. I've been drinking smoking all day. Forgetfulness this week. Oh, and what about, um, right, right after that went off, they um put an episode of um RuPaul's Celebrity Drag Race and... Oh, I thought you were asking me about Jeff Goldblum again. Oh, I want to hear about Jeff Goldblum no more. He's so handsome in an odd, odd way. Yeah, he is an oddity. oddity. But um, RuPaul's Celebrity Drag Race it went by. It came, you know, they had three people come in there. Um, I'm not familiar with none of them. But um, the Nico dude. You did know the Nico dude from um, the tattoo show. For the show. tattoo show. Um, yeah, but um, I think they did pretty good. Yeah. They, they did real good. I loved it. Well, two of them to be straight and one of them to be um, yeah. binary. That's what they call it. So, so much fun. Um, the dude from the tattoo show, Nico. Nico. He wanted, he wanted to win wanted so, bad. so bad. And he was so pretty like, Fair, like Morgan Fairchild from back in the day. Y'all know I'm old, y'all. So I don't know if y'all know who, who that reference is. But um, he just looks so 80s Dallas elegant. Right. And I didn't expect him. To, not that he wasn't a cute guy. Um, I didn't expect him. Well, I should say, uh, I shouldn't expect her to. Um, he's binary. Bi no, but he's actually non-binary. Um, but I didn't expect the look to be so beautiful. You know, his the face was immaculate. It was so pretty. Silky. Silky, silky, silky. That's what's up. That about sums it up, though. It wraps it up by what we talked about today on this episode. Any more closing arguments? Closing arguments? Are we debating? Is this the the political debate? No, it's not. Mm. Nah. I think that about summed it up for today. All right. If anybody has any comments or thinks thinks any thoughts about what we have to say this week? Please let me know. And excuse me, my daughter actually snuck, snuck in the room and is bothering the crap out of me. Yes. All right. Well, that has been RuPaul Drag Race. Season 12, Episode 9 Review. What is it called again? Choices 2020. Choices 2020. Sponsored by Speca, Orange Cream Pop. <laughs> All fuck ups. Sponsored we fucking today. up today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Talk that talk every Friday right here on the Heist Man Before YouTube channel at 9 p.m. Come through, like, share, subscribe, do all that good shit. And fuck with your boy Heist Man Before, Charlene Before. Again, next week, we will be reviewing Episode 10. And, oh, I forgot to do my shit. I want to say, review well with the nigga. This is review with a oh, Jew. Oh, that's our tribute? Yeah, that's, um... To Miss Cracker. Miss Cracker. Miss Cracker dope. Re he, he been trying to get it right all And Blackson. Oh, no. <laughs> that's what I'm starting to do. And no, Blackson. No, my girl shit. I'm stealing all your shit. We love you, Cracker. We love you. Hey, you know who shit I won't steal? <laughs> That motherfucking Silky goodnight. <laughs> we love you too, Silky. But Miss Cracker, you my bitch. Oh, yeah. I think I cried when you went home. <laughs> I'm so mad. I don't think I spoke for the rest of the night. <laughs> it's crazy. Thanks for coming out. we see you all again next week. Fuck with your boy, Heist Man the Foe. And Charlene. Peace. Night, y'all.